What's up everybody and welcome back to another Ride and Dad channel video or welcome if it's your first time either way very glad to have you. This feels very weird to me because I have not filmed a video in probably a month or month and a half. I did a few videos got a head start on stuff and then Hurricane Ian hit and if you guys pay attention to the channel uh, I was unable to upload a vehicle uh, for one week and I have not skipped a regularly scheduled upload uh, probably in about a year and a half since pretty much since I started the channel. Um, so that really sucked for me, uh, but thankfully the house is intact, very minimal damage, all exterior, all fixable, lives are okay. Um, just We just didn't have internet, didn't have power for two weeks, um, still don't have internet right now, so I, I got a mobile hotspot and stuff to take care of it and everything, but um, it's just, it's just been sucky, but I really can't complain compared to everybody else that has had every other issue. i um, just been working a ton, uh, unfortunately, with my job and then my wife and kids and everything. So we are back and barring another crazy hurricane or another weird life tragedy event kind of thing, uh, we are back on regularly uploaded, regularly scheduled uploads. Uh, so today, you guys saw what we were doing uh, in the thumbnail, obviously. We have... What are these exactly called? Ex riser extensions is kind of technically what they're called. They're from uh, LA Chopper. They're very unique to this bike, but we will go ahead and get into more detail after the intro. All right, so something I did not know about some Harleys, uh, but this Sportster, as well as I guess some other uh, models of Sportsters, don't actually have like an actual riser uh, like most other bikes do, like my Lowrider S sitting over there. Uh, usually they have a riser that clamps into the top triple tree mount. Uh, you know, you have riser bushings and everything, and the Sportster just, this Sportster just doesn't have that. Uh, this Sportster has a built in mount from the top triple tree uh, clamp area. It's just built into there and then the bar fits in there and then you have the uh, the riser, I guess it's still called the riser top mount, uh, but it's the bar mount that the gauge sits in. So what these do are lift it, I think they're two inches, these are, It's I ordered these, um, we're just gonna go with two inches. I ordered these like friggin' two months ago. They've been sitting on the counter as well as some other parts before the hurricane and then obviously the hurricane. So I'm pretty sure these are two inches, but they have they have a couple different sizes, either one inch and two inch, one and a half, two, one, one and a half, whatever these are, these are the larger of the two. Um, right now, and we'll talk about everything else I have set up after we're kind of done with the bike, um, but right now these are not the stock bars. These are thrashing high bend bars. Um, they're pretty good, but just having them lifted that extra inch, it would take up some of the slack in the cables uh, that would be perfect for this setup. Uh, and then obviously just sit you up a little bit higher, which is even better for the cafe racer style kind of off-road setup I'm going for. Uh, so these are super simple. We're literally just gonna take the four bolts out of the stock setup, uh, move the bar over. I have enough slack in the wires. You may not. If you don't, then obviously you would have to get new wires and new cable management and stuff. Uh, however, like I said, we're good. So we're just gonna set the bar over here. I'm gonna put a towel over the tank to make sure that nothing gets scratched up. Set the bar over here, uh, put these on the bottom, put the bar on top, put that back and use the included longer bolts uh, and torque them all down. Um, and that's gonna be it. So I'll move you guys closer. We'll start taking this off, put these on and then we'll see how she looks afterwards.
All right, so it's all done. Uh, in terms of installation, like ease of installation, uh, super easy. I mean, that kind of goes as expected. It was as expected. It's just a really simple uh, extension. Um, like I said, again, it's gonna go. It's gonna get harder if you have to do any sort of uh, wiring or cable extensions, um, like any brake line extension or whatever. I'm actually a little bit tighter on my brake line than I thought I was gonna be. It's not that bad, um, still gonna be fine, but might want it in the future. Um, I'm probably gonna get some braided steel brake lines anyway, just for looks and stuff, so probably get like one inch extra on that just to have a little bit more slack. But like I said, it's not taunt or anything, so we'll be okay, but uh, yeah. Um, install is really good. Uh, it really did help improve the feel, so it was, it was perfect as far as like where the, um, where the handlebars land for me personally. Um, but I will say the finish um, kind of does leave leave a little bit to desire. Um, it sits flush on the interior and it does not sit flush on the exterior. I don't know if for whatever reason, um, to my knowledge, this might be an aftermarket uh, top tree mount for some reason that the guy before me put on. Um, it might just be an issue with clearance, or whatever. Um, but it says it fits this year's. I I was under the assumption that this was the stock and it just doesn't flip, fit flush on the uh, the sides, which. I mean, looking at it, you can't really tell too much until you like actually look, but also the fact that this is kind of worn finish and then these are a new chrome finish, it does stand out. Um, maybe, you know, they have it in black. Maybe in hindsight, I should have got it in black. It may have tied better with the top scheme. I just figured chrome would look better because the bottom mount was already chrome. Um, but either way, it's a cheap part. Uh, it's gonna do the job. This bike is not gonna be made to look super pretty. This bike is gonna be a dirt, aggressively ridden um, tramp. <laughs> so this this thing this thing is gonna be this thing is gonna be beaten on quite a bit. Um, and this is gonna be the least of my worries after a year or two of ownership. Uh, there's gonna be scratches everywhere, dents I'm sure everywhere. So. Um, just, just so you know, uh, the, the fitment, and I'll post a picture right now so you can see it a little bit better because I'm sure the video is not going to do it justice and stuff when I was putting it on, but um, it does not sit flush, which is kind of disappointing. Um, but other than that, I mean, it feels solid. It seems solid. Um, I don't have any issues with it as of right now. Like I said, it is a pretty cheap part. Uh, I would definitely do it again. Now, would I do it on a bike like my Low Rider S? Uh, no, definitely not because that is a, uh, a kind of aesthetically pleasing uh, setup that I have right there. So... Just so you guys know, just something to think about. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, definitely stay tuned. We got a lot going on with this bike. Like I said, we are back to a regular uploaded schedule. I only took one weekend off in the past like two years, uh, and I didn't even really take it off. I was just, I physically couldn't uh, do it. So um, thank you guys for hanging in there with me and bearing with me. I know we're very Sportster heavy. Um, it's because I just bought this bike and I'm super excited to do stuff to make it uh, enjoyable for me to ride so I can actually take it and ride it and stuff. So just bear with me a little bit on the Sportster stuff if it's not kind of your cup of tea. There is still a lot of low rider S stuff coming. There's stuff I have uh, in the garage right now for that bike. Um, there are stuff that I ordered like four and five months ago that should be here towards the end of October. Um, that's going to be a very, very exciting video I, i've been been super excited for that uh it's a expensive video and a long-term wait video but uh i think you guys are going to be very pleased with that as well so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel i really would appreciate it hit the thumbs up on this video and all my videos that you watch uh, it helps me out helps the channel out uh, and i appreciate it also check out my links uh, in the description for my affiliate codes my coupon codes all that jam uh instagram tiktok everything like that uh, definitely leave a comment Talk to me on Instagram if you want. And until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun, dad.